Yesterday the World Health Organization has declared monkeypox a global health emergency. The first outbreak of this viral infection occurred in the Democratic Republic of Congo which is located in Africa. So the WHO and their local authorities first they tried to contain the virus inside Congo but very soon it started spreading to the neighboring countries and now it has gone out of their control. On the top of it this new spread is being driven by a new deadly variant called clade 1b we will talk about that later the monkey pox or m pox not to offend the monkeys can be transmitted from animals to humans as well as in between humans the animal to human transmission often occurs through the direct contact with the blood bodily fluid or lesions of an infected animal Whereas the human to human transmission often occurs through direct contact with lesions, respiratory droplets or other contaminated material such as bleeding. So basically if someone has mpox and you touch their lesions or they cough on your face or you touch their blood, the chances of you getting mpox are very high. Once inside the body, the infection basically begins with flu-like symptoms including fever, headaches and muscle aches followed by a distinctive rash that becomes like this over 2 to 4 weeks this virus is not new it was first identified in 1958 and its first case was found in 1970 in the democratic republic of congo in 2022 scientists found something new when they discovered that this virus can spread rapidly through sexual contact. So what happened in 2024 and why has WHO declared a public emergency? Well, a new variant of mpox has emerged in the Democratic Republic of Congo and it is very quickly spreading to the neighboring countries which includes Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda and Uganda. Not only this variant has a high transmissibility, meaning it can spread from one person to another person very fast. This variant also has a very high mortality rate which can go as much as 10% meaning if 100 people get this virus, 10 of them are not going to make it. So far, over 17,000 cases and 517 deaths have been reported in Africa in 2024. But you do not have to be afraid because since this virus isn't new, the vaccines for its prevention are already available. And if the virus leaves Africa and spreads throughout the world, those vaccines might come in handy. However, one thing that scientists have to worry about is that this virus doesn't mutate further into new variants because that could cause further problems like we had during the COVID-19 pandemic. So that's all we know so far. If there is new information, I will let you know in a new video. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next time. Bye-bye.